Hey, this is Kevin Names, and welcome to the third part of the How to Code in Space Engineers tutorials that I'm doing, SEC Sharp, where I'm going to talk about multi systems inter interactions, I guess. So basically, this station is one system, and then this piston, the head of this piston, is another, and so is the head of that piston. Now, when placing these lights, this blue one, the pist the one on the blue one, this interior light got placed first, then the green one, and thirdly, this one on the station. Now, what I've gone through and checked is that they actually, when using the name code, finding the name of an object and then applying an action to it, it goes through and finds seniority. Also, if, let's say, interior light, if you have interior light two, even though, oh, one actually, even though this one was the first one to be placed and I'm looking for interior light, it will actually be called, start this up, it will actually be turned on and off even though its full name is not the name that you are looking for. So you can have one name which is compounded, I guess, and basing it all off of seniority. So. Let's say taking away the two from this and going back into the programming block. If I change this to two, obviously it will go over to just being the one on this station, turning itself on and off. Sadly, it doesn't go faster. So now that I've changed the name, that one is turning on and off. But if I were to add something more, add two back onto this one and something more, let's say that, it will now be toggling that one, which was an interesting way of doing things that just by changing the name of something, you can be uh, changing based off of seniority who actually gets it. So now that one is going just because I removed the two from that one. Now going back to the first one that I was showing off in the yesterday with the number two, was that it actually works when you call everything on a system, it calls every system that is on it. I'm not sure if it actually calls, I'll actually show you that. Not sure if it actually calls stuff in systems below it, but in systems that resort back to it, it will call all on that system. So what I've taken here is the two toggling switches and the terminal which then if I turn these timer blocks off, timer block and timer block two, stop you, those will no longer be running. But because even though it's on a separate system, it will system down and tell these all these lights to actually turn on and off. So no matter what, if you have a rotor connecting it to a station or rotors going out of a station, it will be activating all of those that are in this arrangement. And this is actually the first code. So in the first video, this is the code that will be in that description if you would like to look at that. So that's about it. And I'll see you in the next one.